waves are beautiful. They are how we speak and listen. About 100 years ago, people figured out how to speak across long distances with radio. Some people thought there were too many voices, so they persuaded the government to form the Federal Communications Commission, who then began handing out licenses to just a few select broadcasters. Thereafter, only a few people could speak. Everyone else had to listen. Radios, by operating on different frequencies, they are able to share the airwaves. Soon, we figured out how to use a different frequency to send pictures, and people started broadcasting television. Though it was still the same few people who got to speak. Over here, we figured out how to make phone calls through the air, but the licenses are still held by just a few people. There is one part of the airwaves the government could not find anyone to use. They called it the junk band. So the government said anyone could use it for whatever we could think up. As long as we followed two simple rules, play nice and don't talk too loud, an amazing thing happened with this frequency that the government and the major broadcasting companies could not figure out how to use. We started inventing all sorts of things like a cordless phone, a TV remote control, a baby monitor, a garage door opener, the microwave oven, and Wi-Fi, a great way to spread access to the internet over short distances. Now let's go back to the TV. The old TV broadcasts used an analog signal. Those analog signals are big and strong, but also kind of inaccurate. To keep these signals from running into each other, they had to be spaced far apart. Now, with the switch to digital, TV signals are much more precise. So precise that you can fit three channels in the same space where before there was only one, and you can move the signals closer together, opening up a whole big chunk of airwaves, which the government promptly sold to those same big companies. But even with more channels in less space, there are still spaces in between the channels. These are called white spaces because there is nothing there like that old junk band that led to all of those amazing inventions, it's not being used. Imagine that. If we can just follow those simple rules, we will have a brand new opportunity to speak and listen. The broadcasters want to keep that space for themselves, even though they're not using it. If it were yours, how would you use it? <laughs>